Coming up is an Apple feature case study that will just warm your heart and make you want to work with us. Be careful before you watch this. Stay tuned. What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.co, the place you go when you want action-packed content in the app marketing space because I deliver the best in-depth content that you won't find anywhere on YouTube, on the podcast, or on the blog. And today I want to share a really, really cool case study of an Apple feature for a client that we did last year and what he's been able to do ever since. He's become a good friend of mine. We've texted back and forth and I got his approval to share all this with you. So I'm hoping that you'll get a ton out of it and see the value that we can add when you want to really drive some downloads for your app. Now, before I go on, I do want to mention this. Now, anytime I share some of the strategies of an Apple feature, and I'm going to link up some of the blog posts that we wrote and some of the videos that we've created recently, but people generally come out, come to me and say, hey, you know, how much for an Apple feature? And I always say, look, I don't sell just an Apple feature because it's like selling you an expensive lottery ticket. It's very difficult to get featured. And while we have certain strategies in place that will that we think will help you and almost get the attention of Apple, we never just want to sell you that because it is so hard. And again, it's more of this like huge spike and you'll get a ton of downloads if it works out, but the odds are sort of stacked against us. But we think we have a good process in place. And as long as you have a really good app, and what I feel like what we've come really good at is I can look at an app, be like, okay, that's actually feature worthy. We can do this. So that's what I feel like we've gotten good at. But again, I never sell the package by itself, an Apple feature. It's usually included in any package that we you work with us. And I'm usually honest with people. I was talking to a potential customer last week and I said, or just yesterday, actually. I said, hey, you know, we'll help you with this, but I don't think you're a good fit right now. I think the designs are a little bit weak, needs a little bit more work. So that's what we provide and I'm pretty honest with it. We can give it a shot still because it doesn't hurt and I'm gonna share the strategies that work for us and our past clients, but again, we just don't sell it. And the one thing that I'm most proud of is the strategies that we've used to sort of get featured by Apple last year, we still use, but we've imp implemented more and different ones that are working better so they make the words always we're always improving our strategies to make it better and worthwhile for our clients. All right, let's go into the case studies. Here we go. So before I get started, this is the time that I'm recording this is around mid-May. But this I want to show you a couple of different clients that were featured. Something I'm really proud of is we had two clients actually featured by Apple in May of 2000, what is it, 17 right now. So mid May, we had two of our clients featured in the same week. Really proud of the fact. In different categories too, which is really fun. So the first one is this app. It's a language learning app to help kids learn Chinese. And we got this one featured. I'm pretty proud of this one because if you've been following me on Facebook, you'll remember like a few months ago, I asked, hey, you know, like I've got a few icons, we're testing it. Which one do you think is best? And this was the winner. And this was something that I suggested to the client that we actually change the icon around because I didn't feel like it did it did the game justice. Like the game is beautiful, but I felt like the icon was a little bit weak. So they ended up listening to me. We launched it and we got it featured by Apple. So yay. All right. The next client that was featured in May, just a few days later, we got this client featured by Apple and this is a meditation app, great meditation app. It's called Mind Bliss. And Derek, again, like, you know, I just like to be friends with everybody. So I like to call everybody friends, even though they're clients as well. But Derek, he and I hit it off too. And he was featured and I was really proud of that fact with this one too. And for this one, I actually ended up pitching Apple because I just felt like he didn't, I didn't even tell him. I just said, hey, I'm going to send an email, email to Apple. And a few days later, Apple ended up sending him, getting in contact with him and wanting to ask for different artwork because not only did he get a, a feature in the main bro, he also got a banner right here in iTunes as well. So really, really cool. Apple wanted some artwork from him and he had to deliver that. So really cool stuff that I'm super excited about. And if you're keeping up, May's not over yet. So I might have one more under my belt, but that's 11 Apple features in the last 16 months. So really, really proud of that stat, right? 
Okay, so let's go into the case study that I want to remind you of. So let's turn back the time a little bit. So this was one of our very, very first Apple features. It happened in February or March of 2016. It's called Bumper Jump. And this is the case study I want to share with you. So Austin, again, he created this app and came to me and said, hey, Steve, you know, I'm considering, he was asking for advice. I'm considering either publishing this myself or seeking a big publisher. And I said, hey, Austin, this is a really good game. Again, I felt like, you know, gut wise, I can sort of tell if this is Apple feature worthy or not. I said, this is a really good game, man. Like, let's work together. I think I've got some strategies that can help you get featured. And if you don't get featured, this is not going to be the last game you create. So you can always go to a bigger game publisher. But if you do get featured, you know, a lot of great things can happen after that. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. And luckily for me, I was right. And I'm not always right. So don't don't listen to me just because I'm right this time does not mean I'm always right. There's been plenty of apps that I felt like had a good shot that did not get featured. But this one did get featured and did great. He was really happy with it. We did other growth hacks to really take advantage of the Apple feature. And here's what happened. And this is the best part of it. So this was about February, March, 2016, 2016, okay? We met up recently in for GDC 2017. There he is, and there I am back there. It's a really cool thing that I like to do. So if you're ever in town for a big conference, let me know. I'll try to organize these dinners. And that's what we got. To, we all got together, a few of us. And a few weeks later, during that dinner, he actually showed me another app. He's like, hey, here's, you know, here's a few more apps that I'm working on, a few more games. I was like, this one's really cool. And at the time, he didn't really, I don't think he minds me sharing this. He was like, I don't, I'm not sure. And I'm like, no, this is really cool game, dude. Like, you should try to pitch this and get it featured by Apple again. Because he was like thinking maybe a publisher again. And he ended up listening. I don't know if it was me, but I'm just saying. He went ahead and published it himself. And guess what happened? This week, as I'm recording this, mid-May, he got it featured by Apple again. So another app of his featured by Apple. And the coolest part, he didn't use me, right? Like he's like, hey, Steve, you know, I, I was like, did you some, you know, launch this? And he's like, yeah, I did launch it. And I'm like, did it get featured or not? And he's like, I don't know. We we're just texting back and forth. And I said, I was looking through the app store because I'm always looking through the app store and I noticed it. I was like, hey, dude, you got it. He's like, yeah, yeah, I know that already. So he was, he ended up getting a feature for it. And that's what I'm really proud of. And that's why I wanted to create this case study. And I texted him, hey, you mind if I share your story? Because he was been able to now get, so we helped the first app, Bumper Jump, get featured. But the two apps, like Sticky Space and now Clock Hop, he's gotten featured just be, by using our strategies, he now has a connection at Apple that he can now, you know, leverage and he's able to leverage. And that's what, you know, like really makes me feel good because, you know, obviously he still credits me, which I thank you, Austin, but you're, you're the one creating really good games. But at the same time, like that feels good. Like he, one, he's, he's always credits me. So I appreciate that. And two, like he's able to really now live the indie success story and really Big, make his games and have a relationship with Apple and get his games featured. And that's the proudest thing. His last app that's on here, he actually launched way before we even worked together. So ever since we've been starting to work together, you know, the two apps that he did launch, he's been able to get it featured by Apple. And that's the coolest thing, in my opinion, because I'm not here like I play in the long game. There's going to be a ton more apps. I'm not here trying to be like, this is my strategies because I know strategies are going to change. And I know and I trust myself that I'm going to come up with more strategies that might be working in 2018 for an Apple feature than they are in 2017. So those strategies will always change. But this is what I love. I want to set everyone up for success. And that's what I believe I can do really well. And this is, I hope that was heartwarming, right? Was it? <laughs> that is the Apple feature success story. Look, we've created a lot of blog posts. I'm thinking about putting something together that will show you exactly how we do it. But I don't want to sell it because again, it is a, a hard thing to do. But if you do want to see our process, let me know. But again, I'm going to link up all the in the show notes and in the video, you, you'll get linked up to all the different content that we have around an Apple feature. And we'll put a complete guide together just linking out to the different blog posts that you can read through and see the tools that we use the timeline you need to follow the email pitch is there so if you want that email pitch just go to appmasters.co apple email you can get an exact email script 
that we've used to get our apps featured and a format, a template that you can follow and just copy and paste and add your own text so you can pitch Apple as well. All right, guys, thank you guys. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button somewhere. Who cares? Like You'll find it. You're smart. And if you're on the podcast, I'd love for you to subscribe as well. It's at masters.co slash iTunes and go to the blog. And if you want to work with us, just go to at masters.co and find the work with us little link and just fill out a form and we'll get together and talk a little bit more. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.